Alright, so hello YouTube. Um, today I'd like to make a quick tutorial for you showing you how to create a button in Windows.h. Um, for this tutorial, I've got here the code we had from the last tutorial pretty much, except for a few things. Um, I changed the title, that's all. And it's sickly that I also changed from the default project, I changed uh, this the type of window so it's now uh, it can't be resized but it can be minimized and I also change the dimensions of it as well in the last tutorial we had our um, we had uh, some text on the window that said hello world so if we just build and run I'll show you what it looks like there you go there's the new title and the text so anyway let's get to uh, creating a button <laughs> if you recall from the last tutorial uh, I talked about this function right here with, uh, it gets called by the dispatch message function uh, while your program's running and basically when it's called it'll get past it could either get past uh, no message in which case it just returns this thing but if it's past a message like in this case uh, the WM create message which is past when the windows just being created and you want to add all your other elements uh, to the window such as text and buttons um, so yeah this this WM create part here this is where we're gonna add our button this will make it so that the button shows up after uh, right after this the parent window is rendered so let's first let's create a handle to the button up here just in case And then what we're going to do here is we're just going to say button, which is our handle, equals create window. And then for the parameters here, you'll notice in this one, which was a text that couldn't be edited, uh, the first parameter was static in quotes. So because it's a button, all you're going to do is write button in quotes. Now the next parameter is what you actually want the button to say. So in our case, let's make the button say, "This is a button." Okay. Now we're going to give it uh, the attributes that we talked about here before, whatever ones you want to give it. So the first one we're always going to supply is WS visible, and then we're going to use this vertical line here, only one. And then WS child we're saying here we're saying that it's child to this window hwind and then let's also give it a border so ws border and so we're done with that argument let's put a comma and now we gotta put the dimensions that we want the button to be so the first two or the next two parameters are integers and they are how many pixels from the top the top uh, left of your window you want the button to be so since we made this uh, text 20 and 20 from the top here uh, 20 pixels down 20 pixels in we let's make the button uh, we'll make it 20 from the we'll make it 20 from the left and we'll make it say 50 down to make sure it falls below the below the text that we already have and now the next parameter is how wide we want the button to be so for that let's let's just say a hundred I find this has a lot of guess and check in it but because if it's not big enough then not all this will show actually let's make it 200 just in case and then uh, the next parameter is the height so let's say 20 again because 20 is usually how tall the default text is and the next parameter is the handle to the parent window so for this parameter we're just going to put hwind and then for the last four for now we'll just put null and I believe it's this one here yeah I'm pretty sure it's this one I'll show you in my next tutorial how to make a button how to make the button perform an action and it'll have to do with this parameter right here anyway for now let's just compile and run hopefully there's no errors 
Okay, there we go, and here's our button. As you can see, you can click on it and do all that, but it won't actually perform any action yet because we haven't given it an action to perform. And there's also this text right here, which doesn't have any action either, although I believe you can even assign an action to that. Not entirely sure though. And yeah, so uh, thank you for watching, guys. Um, I'm going to make the next tutorial hopefully right now explaining how to actually make this button useful so that it does anything. Um, please comment if you have any uh, questions and yeah, thanks.